Good morning and welcome to another vlog. So we're going to have a busy morning this morning because I'm up and ready. Edison's up and ready so it's actually only just gone half seven. I'm going to take him to the hairdressers. The barber's actually over to seven. But uh, yeah, we had a sort of late line because Edison woke up in the night at 2am and came in our room. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take him there and we're going to go to Morrison's and get a few things. A few things for Easter. Um, might take a photo, Edison's got to take a photo of a landmark in Newport, so if we've got time we'll take one of the transporter bridge. Um, but if not we won't do that. And then we're going to head down the sea wall. So, busy morning aside, we'll pick this up in a little bit. I don't know what this is going to be, the hairdresser is going to be so very sight. Bye. Bye. One hour later. Uh, so, me and Edison have got our hair cut. He did have it uh, combed over a bit. He's trying to show you a lolly. Good boy. But yeah, we pulled up at Morrison's. So we're going to get inside, get some Easter eggs maybe, before heading to the sea walls. Uh, so we're just inside Morrison's. Um, looking for some presents or gift for our friends. We just had a new baby. Yeah, it's for babies as well. We've also got all our Easter eggs ready for Easter as well. So we've got summer on offer and whatnot. These little ones are a pain. So they were 75 p.m. last week. They're a pain now. Um, I mean, Danielle got ones for each other. But, uh, too pained. Yes, I know. Thank you. Mummy makes me smile. Very cute, Emma. Well, you could wear that. And it says, Mummy makes me smile. It's cute, isn't it? Carry on shopping anyway. And for head and out. We've arrived at the sea wall. And you can see the tides in. <laughs> if we take a look to our right, just up by there, there's a person stood on the rocks. And that's Grampy, so let's go say hello. There he is, there's Grampy. Come to say hello. <laughs> it's the sea. Grampy's not caught anything yet. <laughs> that's his fishing rod, Edison. Just yeah. put some fresh bait on there. Yeah. Well, get not, a fish. Get right. Yeah. Nice to see a bite. It's a nice day though. Yeah, Cold, but. <laughs> Cold, but nice day at least. Yeah, nice and it's dry. Windy. It's out there. It's <laughs> a different direction. Hey, we'll go another time, Edison, fishing. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, when uh, we'll fish down the <laughs> steps or something there, look. You can sit on the steps. Yeah. Just Cast a little rod in. Yep. Very nice. You go fishing, Emma? Fish. You fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Do you like the sea? This is a big sea. So the tide comes in and out, so it's in at the moment, but then the tide goes out and it's all muddy. Yeah, it's like even mouth and stuff across there. Across the other side, and then further down, if I zoomed in, but. I'm not going to. There's the uh, seven bridge and stuff. But yeah, we're uh, just chilling out here. Yeah. Edison, would you like to go swimming in that water? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a bit cold. <laughs> bit cold that water is, mister. Mind you, our pool's cold, isn't it? But <laughs> Little walk, is it? <laughs> Grampy waits for a, uh, a bite on his fishing rod. <laughs> That's the whole Grampy's hand. Oh, so I've been fishing many a time with my dad out here, or Grampy. We used to walk all the way up this lane and around the corner. We used to fish sort of out there before they made the like wetland sort of place. What's the matter, Baba? You want Daddy's turn to hold your hand, is it? You want Brampy? Okay, let's go catch up to him then. Wow, on a little sort of beachy area. <laughs> just at the end, like Grampy's fishing over there. I'm just throwing some stones in and letting the water splash on their wellies. <laughs> Woo! Not your left handed though, aren't you usually? That's a big stone. Edison, you go careful. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you want me to do a splash? Ready? Way! Splash! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Emma! Ah. Oh. 
Oh, Alright, take a step back, you two. Take a step back, Edison. And you, Emma. Way, hey, good throw, Emma. Good job. Right, nice morning. It's actually not that cold, um, Dania, is it? Because it's like the wind's stopped. Yeah, the wind has stopped down here, so it's nice and uh, pleasant, actually. Very nice. Yeah, let's have a little campfire here. It'd be lovely. Oh, we're back at Grumpy's Rod. No sign of a bite yet, though. Yeah. <laughs> Emma just can't decide what she wants, bless her. Yep, yeah, just gonna hang out here for a little while before maybe heading back by Nanny's. We'll see. Yeah, I'm fun looking in Grumpy's fishing box. <laughs> okay. So they're fun looking in Grumpy's fishing box. Emma like shaking the bell. <laughs> Lots of little colourful things and noisy things if uh, right. <laughs> you want to use them. <laughs> Still no sign of a fishy. What's in this bucket, Edison? He's got some worms, Edison. Oh, ragworms. Oh. <laughs> Is that funny, Emma? Is that funny? It isn't still going. I watch it doesn't nip. Sometimes they give a little nip, but it doesn't yeah, nip. They, they don't have teeth, do they? Yeah, well, they got little, like, little nippers. Little yeah. They don't, they don't hurt. But... But yeah. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> Fearless. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Do you like that, do you ever? Little wavies. They're alive, isn't it? Medicine is fearless, too. You love, yeah, you love little bugs and creatures <laughs> and exploring them. <laughs> <laughs> you funny. There you go, he's bringing in his fishing rod, Edison. He's going to put on fresh bait and then cast it back out to see if he could tempt a fish on with fresh bait. There you go, Edison, he's putting his bait on now. Some worms. And then he's going to cast back out. He's even got a pipette to uh, put some cultured oil on his uh, bait as well. <laughs> I mean, just hear Emma screaming, bless her, because he wants to play with the worms too. <laughs> hey, good job, Edison. You're helping Grampy. Good boy. <laughs> now, do you watch him, Edison? Uh, he's going to do a big cast. Woo! And there it goes. I wonder whether we'll see it on camera. Ready? We're just going to splash in the water. Good job, Grampy. Was that fun? Yeah. He's cast out his rod now with his worms on, so hopefully he'll catch a fish, isn't it? Away! Hey. <laughs> Emma's going up day two. Is there something in your boot, is there, Edison? Ain't no. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> bye. Say bye bye to Grampy. And we'll run down the bank. Yeah, my name. And we're back home. So that was a really good uh, D8, really. So we ended up, uh, I mean, it's, it's got half one now. It's like 20 to 2, so we've been out like all day. So uh, after we sort of left the sea wall, we ended up going to Denel first. And um, then we got a little cushions there, new cushions. There we go, there they are on the uh, settee, and Edison's playing with a Dunelm bag. <laughs> and then we went to Nanny and Grampy's and had a little visit there, and they played with Harriet and Tom and stuff before we sort of came back home. So that was a nice fun time. We're uh, just chilling out now for a little bit, and I don't know if you heard Edison then, but we're going to head to Jack and Ellen's after, see them and Phoebe. Yeah, I'm going to get something to eat though, because I haven't eaten any lunch. Neither's mummy, so we'll probably have something to eat now. Edison's having a cereal snack. <laughs> you pulling silly faces. <laughs> you silly boy. Mummy's starting uh, tea because we're going to have mac and cheese tonight, apparently. But because um, we're going possibly to our friends, Jack and Ellen's, uh, we may not have time to sort of cook it later if um, that's the case. Because we might be going there for half three. And this little one's just rolling rain on the floor, aren't you, missus? Yeah. And you cutie pie? Yeah. Yeah. You cutie pie? Yeah. And you say daddy. Daddy. Say mummy. Mummy. Say Edison. Apple. Say Emma. Emma. 
Say nanny. Um, Emma. Say nanny. Nanny. Say grandma. Nanny. Say grandma. Say granddad. Say grampy. I haven't do yet. You say grampy? I don't Say Uncle Rich. <laughs> say April. Doggy. 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 Say Doggy. Cat. Hello. You're very good at all your words, mister. Good job. Ah, so if we take a look in the oven, I might actually open it so we can see it better quickly. But uh, there we go, Mummy's homemade mac and cheese in the oven there. It looks delicious to be fair. It's really good. So we're going to cook it now and then when we get back from uh, Jack and Ellen's, we'll just heat it up then. And tea's ready to go. Well, good job, Mummy. So I don't think I've shown, but if you look out in the garden there, you can see that the hedge has gone. So I finally took that hedge out because it was mostly dead, like three quarters of it was dead in the middle and stuff. And um, I need to, we need to put a wall up there just to retain the garden and stuff. So um, finally took those out and I got rid of those to the tip this week. Um, all the bushes and, you know, the trimmings and whatnot. But yeah, the plan is, because the bushes, they came out almost as far as like the playhouse here. So it was several feet now of um, garden to use. We're going to hopefully, the plan is to build a wall up that side. Um, and then um, slab the garden up so far so that we can put the playhouse on it and then move the garden furniture up onto the garden so that when the kids are playing in the summer we can sit up there on our nice comfy stuff and watch them play in like the pool and whatnot. I do need to give these um, bushes a trim as well so I need to see whether Grampy can come up possibly and give them a trim on the top. But it is nice in the summer um, when we're playing in the pool because the sun does move around the back. And then when all the leaves are on there, it does block um, and shade the garden then, have them that high, so... I don't know, don't know, but they could do with a trim anyway, so I don't uh, lose control of them, basically. <laughs> what are you doing, Baba? Oh, you have had the fishing rods, but you've hurt yourself, have you? Whenever she, like, hurts herself, she always comes to you just to, like, rub it. <laughs> and then she's all better, aren't you? Yeah! You have such a gorgeous smile. Yeah. <laughs> A lovely hair. She's actually going to the hairdressers within the next few weeks. Mummy's taking her to have a little trim. First trim. I don't think you'll like it, but you need something doing to it. A bit, bit of shape into it, because it's a bit all over the place. Like, really long bit at the back, and then it's a bit, like, shorter here or there. So, <laughs> thank you, Emma. And she wants, I think, the Play-Doh now. Let's get that down and play with her. So, Emma's favourite Play-Doh shape to make is the heart, isn't it, Emma? Yeah, you like that one for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe she's got she's got lots of love to give everyone, is it? <laughs> yeah. Need some help from Daddy? No. No? I'll help anyway. Yeah. Should we do a couple? Should Daddy do a few? One, two, three, four, five. There we go then. Let's see you uh, get them all. <laughs> Yay! Look at that! Well done, Emma! More and more. <laughs> Go! Let's see if you can do one by yourself, is it? Yeah, me. Yeah? Me. You want some? Oh, you want some help, is it? There you go. Yay! Good job! Well done, Emma! That's it. Pop them all by there. She wants Bunny to sit on the chair. Ah, Bunny playing with Play-Doh, is that? Oh, you want to sit on with Bunny? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Ah, <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> You're doing your Play-Doh with Bunny, aren't you? Yeah? <laughs> Giving her some space, bless. <laughs> You're a cutie pie sometimes, Emma. Emma does love playing with this, like, thank you, Emma. I mean, she's moving all the fishies around, but she does like making cups of tea from the tap and stuff over there and bringing them to you with some cake. And Edison loves playing with it too, cake and biscuits. Thank you. But it's quarter past three now. We're going to head to Jack and Ellen, so we're going to get the kids' um, shoes on. Thank you, Emma. And, um, yeah, the coats, so we're going to wander up because it's not that far away. It'd be nice to have a little stroll there and back. Um, I don't think I'll do any filming when I'm there, so I'll pick this up when we get back. One hour later. Ah, we're back home. 
So luckily, Mummy made our tea beforehand, but if you look, that's Mummy's mac and cheese on you know, Emma's plate there, quite a lot of it, same for Edison, but it looks delicious. Let's tuck in and see whether it tastes as good as it looks. A few moments later. Tea is finished, that was absolutely delicious. Well done, Mummy. Mm -hmm. Good job. So that homemade mac and cheese was actually like a Slimming World recipe, I think, she sort of found online and followed. And yeah, it was delicious. Um, she did make it before we went, and then we he heated it up quickly in the microwave when we got back. Um, before we left, it was really watery, but by the time we got back, it thickened up a lot where we'd left it. And it was absolutely delicious, so definitely be doing that one again, I'm sure. But for now, kids are just playing, being silly on the slide, aren't you? <laughs> oh, eating your milky bar treat. <laughs> Go, Edison. Ah. But I'm going to put the camera down and chill out. So I'm going to leave the vlog there. So with that, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs>